hello welcome to let's learn in today's video we will be learning about some different topic which is production technology of cashew i think you are a little bit interested right so we'll see what are the production technology of cashew first the botanical name of cashew is anacadium occidentale and it belongs to the family of anacadaceae it is native of southeastern brazil so this will be asked in question the native of cashew is southeastern brazil and it is introduced to india at 19th century okay so this also will be asked in question so the native of cashew is southeastern brazil and it is introduced to india at 19th century and this is mainly grown in india brazil vietnam indonesia sri lanka and in many places okay next we will see about the composition of cashew what are the main moisture protein how much it is present we'll see that so the moisture in cashew is 5.9 percent and protein is 21.2 percent the fat which is more in cashew this will be as in question is 46.9 percent and carbohydrate is 22.3 percent phosphorus calcium minerals these are all in this much percentage so the main thing is in cashew the fat is 46.9 percent okay next we'll see about the uses of cashew the cashew nut shell liquid that is cmsd which is important byproduct in cashew so from cashew this is very important thing so cashew nut shell liquid is is an important byproduct in cashew industry and cashew contain good amount of vitamin c than citrus so we know that citrus is rich in vitamin c but cashew is very good than citrus and this can be used in preparation of jam pickle candy so we saw the jam preparation right so in this and all cashew can be used next is we'll see about the climate what is the suitable climate for cashew we are going to see it is a tropical crop okay it is a sun loving tree so it loves sun and so this should be grown in tropical season and this cannot be grown in frost condition because it is very sensitive to frost so the cashew is a tropical crop and it do not grow in frost condition and the rainfall which is needed for cashew is about 600 mm then less than 20 degree celsius or more than 39 to 42 degree celsius this will affect the growth and fruit or fruit drop mainly will occur okay so this will mainly will be asked in question c properly if there is less than 20 degree celsius and more than 39 to 42 degree celsius climate means it will affect the growth and also mainly the fruit drop will occur heavy rain also affects the yield so there should be a tropical season only okay uh, in that also more than 39 to 42 degree celsius is not good for the growth of cashew okay next we'll see the main important thing what is the suitable soil for cashew see this is a very important thing this can be grown in wasteland okay and all type of soil is suitable even in wasteland also we can grow cashew this is grown well in red loamy soil and also well drained soil uh, even up to elevation of 700 mid sea level can also be grown okay i think you're clear that cashew can even be grown in wasteland then that means in any soil it can be grown okay next is we are going to see the important thing varieties of varieties of cashew so from Rudrachalam rrs okay so that is vr1 vr2 vr3 vr4 vr5 there are many varieties which is released from Rudrachalam. we'll see the planting method for cashew in pit where we can apply about 50 mil mg of fim and single super phosphate ssp means single super phosphate 2.5 kg plus dry leaf plus drop soil this all can be put in the pits after that this cashew can be planted for well growth okay so farm yarn manure is fom 15 mg and ssp single super phosphate 2.5 kg dry leaf top soil should be applied and cashew can be planted in it okay so seedling should be planted inside that pit 
planting of grass after three or four rains so after the three four rains we can plant it so spacing we can give us seven seven by seven or eight by eight meter depth we can give of about 30 centimeter for deep penetration of root and for proper growth okay next is we'll see about the manure and fertilizer which is need for cashew so it well responds to manuring even without manure it can go on wasteland but it well responds to manure so we can apply that and sorry sorry for high yield regular fertilizer needed okay if you are growing this cashew's main crop and if you need high yield then regular fertilizers need we, we cannot grow in wasteland for a main crop okay and 500 gram of nitrogen 125 gram of phosphorus 125 kg of uh, sorry gram of uh, potash can be applied okay before manuring weeding should be done it's it's very common for most of the crop before manuring we should weed properly and for any uh, low lying crops and all we, we must earth up earthing up should be done that is one of a uh, process after making that we can manure okay next we'll see the irrigation which is needed for cashew is none other than how much water is needed for cashew we are going to see but actually you see that cashew is a hardy crop it is a rain fed crop so this this do not need that much water okay it can grow in tropical climate itself so whenever rain comes it is enough for cashew they are saying so it is suitable as a rain fed crop and thus irrigation is not required for cashew but at planting of grafting if you are making some grafting process we have teach the grafting right i will give in description box uh, about the grafting and types of grafting you can see that so if grafting is done in cashew that time irrigation is surely needed and irrigation at flowering and fruiting stage will reduce a fruit drop so cashew is a hardy crop it does not need irrigation but if grafted plants is planted in uh, our land mills irrigation is much needed and irrigation at flowering and fruiting stage will reduce the fruit drop so this will be maybe it will be asked in your question okay next we'll see what are the propagation which is done in cashew okay what is meant by propagation by which we are propagating we are developing into a new plant we are seeing for cashew none other than it is seed okay seed propagation is done for cashew mostly this is practiced it is mainly to raise the rootstock material the seed propagation will be done okay and it takes 50 to 20 days for germination from a seed next any other propagation is done means yes not only seed propagation for rootstock even vegetative propagation is done in cashew so you see air layering cuttings epicotyl grafting which is mainly commercially done and even vena grafting side grafting patch budding these are also done okay so all about this we have discussed earlier itself if you are interested you can see in the description box okay so you should mainly mark this the commercial method of uh, grafting which is done is cashews epicotyl grafting this you should very thoroughly remember because this will be asked in question so for every crop what are the propagation commercial method this will be asked okay and uh, sometime they will ask uh, if it is seed propagated uh, for papaya and all vegetative propagation cannot be done so this and all will be asked in your question so read thoroughly and all the best for your exam we'll see in part two